Number of coronavirus cases are climbing in Washington. So as of this morning, there are 72 total cases. That includes 13 deaths. Here's what you need to know this morning. President Trump today will sign an $8 billion package to fight the outbreak. Snohomish County has declared a state of emergency and laid out guidelines for the public. An emergency order was issued to require state health insurers to waive co-pays and deductibles for anyone needing to be tested. Vice President Mike Pence visited Washington yesterday and promised more testing kits. But by the end of next week, CDC's test supplier, a company known as IDT, will distribute kits across the country that will enable roughly 1.2 million Americans to be tested for the coronavirus. Our, our message to families all across the state of Washington is simply this. We're with you. Uh, we are here to help, and we're going to stay with you every step of the way. This morning, we are seeing new activity at the Kirkland uh, care facility that is at the epicenter of this outbreak. King 5's Amy Moreno is live outside the life care facility with the very latest. Amy. Yeah, we did see some ambulances come and go here from the facility overnight about four or five. And we have reached out to find out, you know, what that's about to find out if, you know, these were patients being transferred or what was going on with that and trying to get some more information about what was happening. Now, this comes hours after a group gathered here outside the facility of family members trying to demand answers. They said they're scared for their loved ones who are still here and heartbroken over those who are already lost. One woman shared that she got a call in the early morning hours yesterday that her mom had passed away and then seven hours later she got another call from a different nurse saying that her mother was fine. She, she said they're so overwhelmed that the first nurse had forgotten to update her mom's chart. The family said they're not upset with the nurses and staff here. They're just feeling like they can't get information from health leaders and those in charge of the facility. Our loved ones were not told that there was COVID-19 outbreak. On the contrary, they were explicitly told it was a respiratory outbreak. Federal Centers for Medicare and Federal Service and other federal investigators are now here looking into the Life Care Center and investigating. Uh, in a statement yesterday, Life Care Center said they continue to work with the county, the state, and the CDC and said they're monitoring patients and employees carefully. They also said they're providing families with telephone calls to keep them updated about their loved ones and said they grieve with those who have lost loved ones. And once again, throughout the night, we did see some ambulances come and go from here. We're reaching out to get more information Families who gathered here yesterday said they would like to get more information about the testing that's going on and also believe that some quarantine measures have not been enough. We're live in Kirkland. Amy Marino, King 5 News. Amy, thank you. We are learning more about what it's like on the front lines for doctors and nurses at Evergreen Health in Kirkland. That's where patients from Life Care Center, that nursing home, were taken when they became sick. Patients with coronavirus are being treated in an emergency department sealed off from the rest of the hospital. Not even air from that section can flow to other parts of the building. The doctor in charge of it all says his staff is ready and have been training for the scenario. For our staff, there's a, there's a feeling of, of, of intensity. So the people are very working really hard uh, and, and meeting the challenges of, of, of uh, what we're facing. Uh, I, the staff is calm. Evergreen Hospital CEO says some staff have tested positive for coronavirus, but it's not clear if they caught it in the community or at work. Several schools in western Washington are still closed this week over virus concerns. Mariner High School in the Muckleteo School District will be closed today after a family member of a student was diagnosed. Everett Community College also closed through the weekend for cleaning. Eastside Catholic still closed. And all schools in the North Shore District closed for two weeks and students will attend classes. Class remotely. This outbreak is starting to take a toll on some vital community services. Some food banks in western Washington are now dealing with a volunteer shortage. In most cases, that's because many of the volunteers are seniors who are a high risk group for coronavirus. Many are staying home as a precaution. And that's not the only problem. Food donations are also down. A lot of the food that we get at the food bank comes from grocery stores in the area. We've all seen that the store's shelves are bared as everyone's stocking up. That's impacting the food that we have available. Local food banks encourage anyone who's not in a high-risk group and who's not sick to help volunteer. We've posted information on how you can help 
on King5.com. It's still game on for the Seattle Sounders, even after a concession worker at Century League Field working the Seattle Dragons game recently tested positive for coronavirus. King 5's Kira Alfalan live there this morning. Kira, what are the Sounders telling you about the risk for soccer fans attending the match tomorrow? Yeah, good morning. So they're saying that they are going to be doing enhanced sanitary preparations just to make sure that the risk is low for anyone who is going to be attending the match. But still, uh, they're asking with guidelines from public health, if you are at risk, you stay home. And if you are sick, you also stay home. So the Seattle Sounders actually kicked off their season on Sunday. Team reps say that they plan to go ahead with tomorrow's match following guidelines from public health, Seattle and King County. On February 22nd, a concession worker who tested positive for coronavirus was at the Seattle Dragons game. This person was not showing any symptoms at the time and has not been to the clink since. Health officials say exposure risk for any fans who went to that game is actually pretty low. In a statement, the organization said public safety is extremely important for all fans, adding, quote, we are in continuous dialogue with regional health authorities and Major League Soccer in addition to our network of medical experts. Because of this, we are proceeding with Saturday's match. So if any fans who have tickets are at risk or are sick, uh, the Sounders say that they actually plan to be able to work with those fans on some exchange options. So that is the good news. But they do suggest if you are sick or at risk, you do stay home. From Seattle, I'm Kira L. Fallen. King 5 News. All right, Kira, thank you. NHL Seattle has postponed the release of season ticket prices and seat selection this week because of the outbreak. According to the Seattle Times, the team planned to release the prices and begin setting appointments for fans on a ticket priority list to come tour its preview center. New information on this outbreak is coming in every day, and we're committed to bringing you the facts and keeping you informed. If you want to get a link to a special section on our website, just text the word virus to 206-448-4545, and we'll send you that link.